This bag is my food bag and this bag is my utensil bag. I'm gonna go through each of these and let you know what it is I carry on that get me a couple of good healthy meals right on the plane. These special things are gonna make it so that you have a really good meal on the plane. I'll show you how I put them together and what's in them. Looks pretty good. Look at that. All of this food fits into this. Hi, it's Eunice from Theory of Simple. Thanks for joining me today. If you're new here, my name's Eunice and my videos are all about travel, whether it's a car, plane or train, I'm gonna have you prepared for just about anything. And for those of you returning, thanks for coming back to my channel. Today's video is going to be meal prepping for travel. That's right, meal prepping for travel. As many of you who travel know, there's not always healthy options to be eating while you're traveling, especially now on planes when they're not serving any meals or if they are, you're having to purchase them and they're still not that great. So let's go over today how I put together my meal in a bag. And these are the things that I carry with me on the plane. Let's go through what's in each of these bags that get me eating healthy while I travel. I keep a whole little basket of things that are just my travel foods that I only use while I'm traveling. That way I can get to them really easily and quickly pack things up. So let's go through some of the things that I have in here. So as you can see, there's a variety of things in here. Everything from pre-cooked bacon little pieces to some little pepperoni bites to collagen, coffee, olives, nuts, soup, fruit, and even some honey that I already took out of here, but it's normally in here. And of course, dried peanut butter. So let's go through what I pack, especially for these two things here. These special things are gonna make it so that you have a really good meal on the plane. I'll show you how I put them together and what's in them. I carry two of these bags right here. One is for food and one is for utensils. I keep them separate because sometimes I just wanna grab a snack and I, want it, I don't wanna be digging through all my utensils to get to it. Other times I just want to get a cup or something out of here and I don't wanna be digging through my snack bag. It just allows me a little bit of ease. Plus each of these bags when I get on my trip becomes something that if I need to pack a lunch or pack a snack, these I can take with me and they provide great ways for me to take sandwiches and snacks when I'm traveling once I get to my destination. All right, let's find out what's in my little utensils bag. Again, pretty packed. Um, the largest item I have in here are my two cups. So this is my cup, these all collapse. This has some texture to it so when I put hot liquids in it, it doesn't burn my hands. This next cup has a lid. And what I like about this is if I'm having something like soup or even you'll see later when I'm having my yogurt, I can put a lid on this and it'll allow me to keep it so that it'll stay safe and it won't spill all over the place. So I like to have that. I also have a pair of chopsticks in here because I'm Asian and I eat with chopsticks all the time, but it's a great way to get something on the plane to be able to use when you know you can't bring a fork. Sometimes, um, the last time I traveled, they did actually stop. They didn't take my fork, but they told me that um, some places might, so I always have a little fork. I also have my napkin slash cloth and my little barrette that keeps it tidy onto my little shirt and keeps me from getting stuff spilled all over. I also have a little wooden knife. They allow me to take this because it's wood. So when I'm gonna spread peanut butter or something, this works great. And I also have my little travel spoon, uh, my little titanium spoon. It's very lightweight, I love that. And it allows me to fold it and make it a little more compact. And that all fits in here. All right, let's see what's in here. A lot of things crammed in my bag. You know me, I'm Mary Poppins. So a couple of fruit bars, these are great. There's only a couple of ingredients in them, so I like to have those. I also have my creamer for my coffee. I also have my bone broth for my soup. I carry a couple of those, a couple of different flavors, one's beef and one's chicken usually. I have some snack olives. I have my homemade crackers. I'll show you those in a little bit. I have some apples and some cucumber and some carrots to keep me healthy. 
I have this, which is my powdered peanut butter. I have some Manuka honey. I have a couple of instant coffees. What else? Anything else in there? I think that's it. And then these two bags, which we're going to go over, are important that are really going to keep me healthy and have almost a meal on the plane. So as many of you know who watch my channel, I have a container garden in my yard and I grow a variety of vegetables and some fruits in my yard and I have learned now to dehydrate some of those things. So when I get a harvest and I can't eat all of it at one time, I just start to chop it up, either dry it outside or put it in a food dehydrator and that's what's going to give me something to make a wonderful soup for my plane ride. All right, these are my ingredients for my soup. I have fresh dried basil from my yard. I have zucchini slices. I have tomatoes, shiitake mushrooms, fresh green onions dried, white onion dried, celery dried, garlic dried. All of that has been mixed up to make this beautiful concoction of vegetables. I take this ramen package. I like this because the ingredients list is really simple. It's just wheat, water, and salt for the uh, noodles. They're not fried, so there's less oil, and just a soy sauce packet. I will not be using the packet in here. Instead, I will be using some collagen. Basically, what I do is I take a scoop of this and a scoop of this and mix it together. Then I take these collagen packets and mix it in to make the soup. Again, I'm just going to use my little scissors and cut open my little collagen packet here. Add my collagen. This adds, a, this is chicken flavored, it's really, really good. Then I'm going to take my noodle vegetable mixture and I'm going to put a couple of spoonfuls of that in here. That should be about good. Add my hot water. All right, here's the soup. Lots of noodles. You can take a look here. All the vegetables from my garden. Mmm. So good. This is a great way to get something healthy and nice and warm and salty on the plane. So how do I get hot water on the plane? Well, once I get through TSA, I use my insulated mug and I go up to a coffee place or a restaurant and I ask them, could you please fill this with hot water? And most of the time they oblige and I have really hot water for my coffee or my soup on the plane. I have had a couple of instances where they have actually said, I cannot fill this mug for you. They'll charge me for a cup and give me a cup of hot water that I pour in here. But most of the time they just do it for free. All of these ingredients, which are dried blueberries, dried cranberries, chia seeds, and manuka honey will go into this packet, just like the vegetables. And then I'll just put that in here too. Take that on the plane with me. Now, most of the time you're gonna be able to find some yogurt, or even, I've even used uh, cottage cheese before to make this. This is where that little multi-tool comes in handy right here. It's the way I get this honey open. Now it's going to take a couple of scoops of this. Mix it all up. Then I'm going to put the lid on this and let it sit for about 15 minutes. All right, let's check out my chia seed blueberry cranberry pudding with manuka honey. Mmm. That is super delicious. Breakfast, dessert. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. I like the honey, it just gives it that little extra sweetness. If you don't want that sweet, you don't have to add it. The, the berries add quite a bit of sweetness to it already, so it's good either way. So when I'm done eating all of this, I just go up to the bathroom. I just wash this out really quickly. 
and then just collapse everything back down and put it back in my bag. Then when I get to my destination, I'll wash it out really good, but this is just to get me through. I don't have dirty stuff like this sitting in my bag. So that's all it takes to have something really healthy on your plane ride. Now, if you don't wanna carry something this big in your pack, you can always put something like this in, which are those little zipper bags I've talked about before that you know I carry jewelry and, and floss in and things like that. This will be enough just to get me through a little cup of vegetable soup. I'll carry something like this if I'm going on a longer haul trip and I might need more than one soup, or if I'm gonna be staying at an Airbnb and I just wanna have some of my own you know, dried vegetables with me. So that's a good hack for this. But again, you can always use these smaller little zip bags to put a little bit in if you just want a little bit of something on the airplane. Peanut butter and crackers. It's one of my favorite snacks. It's full of protein. It keeps me satisfied. But bringing peanut butter through the TSA line can be a little challenging because if it's in a package, or if it's in a jar, they're going to make you take it out and put it in the bin. But if it's in a powdered format, you don't have to take it out of your bag. So that's what we're gonna to use today. All right, here's my peanut butter in the jar and I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. I'm gonna take my little chopstick, I'm gonna mix it all up. Looks pretty good. Look at that. Peanut butter right there. Now, if I didn't need it all, I can just take my little lid, put it on top, and I can take it back to my Airbnb or my hotel room and have a little snack as well. So this is just a great way to have a little extra protein again with you on the plane. So keep those little pill bottles. Each one of these slices of bread has 11 grams of fiber. So this is fitness bread. And what I do is I just cut these into little squares. I just let them dry. You can do it in an oven. You can do it in a food dehydrator, but I've literally just left them on the counter and they dry overnight and they become little crackers for me. And I use that with my peanut butter and it's one of my favorite treats on my flight. And that way I get a lot of fiber on my plane ride, on my trip, and I avoid vacation constipation. And yes, folks, it's a real thing. It's because you're sitting too long and you're not moving. That's usually the reason why. So have some fiber on your flight. Another great way to have some fiber on your flight is to add fruits and vegetables and putting a little lemon juice in your apples will keep them from turning brown. So now you see some of the things that I pack and of course none of it's set in stone. I change it with every flight, but there are certain things that I do not pack in my little travel food bag. And those are things that are smelly. Things like kimchi or natto or durian fruit. And for those of you who have been to Asia, you'll see signs at the airport that say no durian fruit on the plane. And for those of you who have never been to Asia and experienced this, you're, you're not missing anything because it smells like rotting something or rather, and it tastes kind of like that too. But for me, the healthy thing I'd like to bring and I don't, tuna fish and sardines. I don't bring these on the plane with me. Um, sometimes fishy smells can make people feel ill. They don't like that. So as much as I'd like to bring it because it's healthy, I don't bring that on the plane with me. So I'm just cognizant of the fact that I don't wanna bring anything too smelly on the plane that might make the person sitting next to me feel sick. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video on how I put together some of the healthier things that I want to have when I'm traveling. I can use these things on the plane. I can use them in my hotel room. I can use them at my Airbnb, anything like that. That just makes it a little more convenient for me to be able to eat healthy while I travel. I'll put some links in the video description below to some of the items I used in this video and what I use for when I'm traveling. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos, please hit the subscribe button. Oh, and hit that notification bell because it's going to let you know when I put up another wacky travel video. Until the next time, juice life, drink the joy, keep life simple. I'll see you in the next video.